Hey you guys, what's poppin' Justin here today? I'm back with another video and this video I did not want to do. I feel like I say that in all my videos, but this video, I definitely didn't want to do this because I hate, hate reading hate comments and that's what I'm gonna do today because I know me, I be wanting to fight everybody, but of course you can't fight everybody who leaves you a fucking comment and I know if I was to read all these comments, all these hate comments about me, I would be miserable, depressed, sad, and just like fucking tight so i never really read hate comments like that but today i'm gonna put myself through it to see if i could like get through it but i already know like i'm not even gonna be in my coin purse i'm gonna be in my whole bag today like i already know so everybody who has hate comments for me could jump off a cliff and choke on a dick lately i've been getting hate comments but it's usually like the homophobic gay kind of comments which is not really hate comments for me because if all you can say about me is that i'm gay is like I am so and I'm still cute and I'm still fly and I still look better than you and your mother and your father I could appreciate a hate comment if you witty witty like if you like oh that was like smart or that was funny I don't be mad because it'd be like all right like you know you left that hate comment but it was cute like you know I could appreciate that but you know what's the crazy part it'd be the wrong bitches that be trying to read the wrong bitches but to quote Nicki Minaj right now because this is so fucking true and y'all know I love Nicki I get love from all the pretty fly niggas and bitches like but the bum ugly insecure ones be hating like and it be so apparent like if you do not like me it's because you don't like yourself so of course you don't like me and i love myself so you think i'm gonna lower my self-esteem or my confidence to make you feel comfortable i show love to everybody like i'm not a person who just like walks around and be shady to people i'm talking about my personal life right now y'all because i'm just going through like people hating on me for no reason i walk around with confidence because ain't nobody gonna big me up like i'm gonna big me up so it's like i have to walk around like you know not that like i'm that nigga but like like i'm that nigga and you can't tell me nothing because you can't tell me nothing because you don't do nothing for me so it's like you want me to be like all depressed and all sad and lower my self-esteem to make you feel better? Sorry, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So you can stay mad and if my self-esteem makes you feel uncomfortable, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I really don't know what to tell you. If I see somebody who's walking around with high self-esteem, that would never make me feel uncomfortable because I don't care. And I love myself enough to appreciate somebody who loves themselves enough. So it's like, for people who always be like, oh, he walk around like he all that. Or she thinks she all that. What's the problem? What is the problem? If I want to think I'm all that and wear a garbage bag, I'm going to think I'm all that in my garbage bag and you're not going to be able to tell me nothing. So yeah, so like lately in my personal life, I've just been going through like people not liking me for no reason. Like I didn't do anything to them. I've just been myself. And people's just not liking me and just like talking about me and saying nasty things about me. But it's like, I'm learning now not to care. Like usually... If I run into a person that I know is talking about me, it's like an on-site type of thing. But lately, I have, I've have i been looking at the people that's been talking about me. And I just look at you. And I'm like, duh. Like, of course you're mad at me. Like, look at you. Like, look at why you mad. You not mad at me, you mad at yourself. That's why you mad at me. But anyway, how I get in my whole bag before I start this video. That was my coin purse, okay? This is how y'all know I'm about to go off because I just got in my coin purse real quick. But reading these comments, I'm really about to get in my bag. So, like, let's start. Let's start with the most viewed video on my channel, which is my sculpture vlog, which actually I have to do an update video for you guys. I know y'all been going crazy. Like, can we see the results? What's going on? Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. And I'm going to really, really soon, so just hold off on that, okay, y'all? Like, I really want to, like, give y'all, like, a full detailed video about it, so just hold it down. Here we go. The regular gay comments. Y'all ready? Is he gay? You gay. Why he talk gay? You is gay. He talk gay. How is he gay? LMAO. He talk gay. You is gay. Just use the channel right now. Bet. What? Just use channel right now, bag baggit it, faggot. Okay. Gay. Yo, you gay. Somebody said, I hate your videos, dumb boy. 
Well, at least he called me a boy, okay? That is so sad nowadays that I have to take that as a compliment because everybody's been asking me, am I transitioning or am I a girl? Like, I am not a girl. Stop calling me first lady and sis. <laughs> Nah, but really though, like, people's been calling me a girl, and I'm not a girl. But, you hate my videos, no you don't. Stop lying, you know you love my videos, come on. Like, if you didn't love my videos, then you wouldn't be under my comments right now. So, I know you love my videos, that was a lie. You look gay as fuck. Stop saying whatever. That's not even a hate comment. That's dead ass true. Like, I dead ass need to stop saying whatever. I say whatever for everything, because it's like a way to like, Finish off like a sentence like when you catch my vibe if I'm talking to you about something and you get what I'm about to say Instead of just saying it. I'm gonna just say whatever whatever like you know like he was acting funny or whatever Like you know he was acting funny and he was doing funny things That's what the whatever means like you know it's like a little slang dictionary lesson for y'all so yeah, whatever, whatever just means to like finish off what you already feel me on. You feel me? Someone said he is doing too much with the voice, the hand, and the lip smacking. It's annoying. Mmm. I don't think, well, first of all, this is me. So if this is like a little too like much for you, then I don't know what to tell you. But like, I really don't be putting on, like, this is really how I talk. Anybody who knows me personally knows that like how I act in front of the camera is how I act in person. Like, I don't think I do the most. Like, but I definitely could say I'm animated. Like, you see how, like, people talk with their hands? Like, he said, like, you need to stop talking with your hands. I don't know what it is. Like, I naturally talk with my hands. Like, when it comes to talking with my hands and how my mannerisms are, it's just so natural to me. Like, I don't know how to, like, not do it. Like, you see on Love & Hip Hop how, the, how they be faking. They be, like, the boys. They be, like... So I told her the other day she need to stop because you know what I'm talking about. Uh, da, 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 da. Like, you know, like if they in a Missy Elliott video, that is doing the most. That is too extra. But like, you can tell when a person actually talks with their hands and they don't want to put on. Like, for example, like Cardi B, people say all the time, oh, she put on, she do too much. And that may be true for certain things, but it's like, that's really how she is. Not that I know her personally, but it's like, I can just tell that her mannerisms and how she is, that's really how she is in person. Like, you could just tell. Like, I don't know how it, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a psychic telepathy thing I have. Like, I feel like I know. Cardi, I know. That's how you really are. Somebody said, what the F? I thought that was a female. No, I'm just going to jump off of effing cliff. Thank you. You are welcome, okay? I hope you don't die though, even though, you know, you left the hate comment, but wear a parachute just in case you decide not to, and come back to my channel and check it out, and leave me another comment, okay? So, Lala, for real, for real, for real, said, gay men are so extra, but you have a name, Lala, for real, for real, for real, but I'm extra, or gay guys are extra. Okay, you have two extra for reals, but anyway, I mean, gay men are extra, but I don't feel like I'm extra. I don't know. Like, I feel like to some people who are very timid, they'll think, like, I'm super extra. But I just think I'm just super animated and just, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm just regular. I don't know. I feel so regular. Like, I don't think I'm, like, super feminine or super extra or super this. Like, I'm just regular. But I am, I will say, I'm very animated. So, I guess, like, sleepiness said, it's bad enough women are this insecure. Shaking my head. I guess meaning, like, it's bad enough we have women out here being insecure. Now, guys, let me tell you something about plastic surgery, okay? Be insecure with yourself. And gathering the courage to say, you know what? I don't like something about myself. I'm going to go change it. That's, for me, the total opposite of being insecure. That's being very aware of your faults that you want to change about yourself. And putting your happiness first and getting something done. Don't ever feel like if you go get plastic surgery, it's obviously that you're insecure. No. Do what makes you happy and put you first. Stop giving a fuck about what other people got to say. Reported your video. Eat my ass. Why would you do that? You look so ugly. First of all, that's where I draw the line, okay? You can say whatever you want about me, but ugly, sis, come on, ugly. You can say that I have bad hair. Well, you can't say I have bad hair. You can say I have bad clothes. Well, you can't really say I have bad clothes either. 
you could say what can you really say about a bitch like not to be that person but i'm gonna be that person because this is a hate comment video so of course i'm gonna big myself up what can you really say about a bitch like like I don't know, what can you really say about me? I mean, I'm sure it's some things that people can say about me, but so what? Somebody called me ugly, I'm gonna be like, alright, like, can we just stop playing games now? Like, ugly, are you serious? You wish I was ugly, like, come on. No offense, he's freaking weird and a show-off. <laughs> I'll take that, like, that's not an insult to me, but whatever. I don't think I'm a show-off, I think you think I'm a show-off. And I like being weird, I think I am weird. I know I'm weird. But at the same time, everybody's just like a little weird. Like, I just think mine manifests itself a little more. Somebody said, Tua are so ugly that Mac up. Uh, why everybody who leaves hate comments cannot spell? Like, I don't understand that. Like, it make me not want to read it. Like, you can't even spell and you leaving a hate comment. Like, you two are so ugly that Mac up is not good at all. You are so stooped. Like, you need to go like, the fuck? Can't even spell and leaving me a hate comment. Uh, bro, first of all, why do you speak like a girl? Last of all, why are you so mad? Why is your icon a chicken? Though, like, I don't understand that. And I speak like a girl because I'm probably thick and petite. So, that's probably why. And why am I so mad? I'm not so mad. People always think when I talk... You know what's the crazy part, though? It kind of sucks because, like, when I talk regularly, people think, like, I'm trying to be, like... I'm mad and I'm trying to be shady. I definitely have like an aggressive voice. Like I assert myself a lot when I talk. Like I could say, oh my God, you look so cute. Like, oh my God, you look so cute. And you'd be like, oh my God, what you gonna do, hit me? I'm not mad, I promise you. I just talk very aggressively. Like it's a New York thing. Like someone said, you not the ugliest boy in the world. You the ugliest girl in the world. <laughs> I would be an ugly girl, trust me. Somebody says some butt shots by Annoying Orange. <laughs> Do I look like the fucking Annoying Orange? That was actually cute. I'm not even mad at that. Annoying Orange, though. Y'all trying to violate. Y'all got jokes. All right. I'll take that one. That was whatever. Niggas that call me the Annoying Orange. How you violate like that? Okay, you see, like, comments like this, like, it breaks my heart when I read them because I don't read them for me. I read them for, like, other people who may get these comments and don't know really, like, how to take them. This person said, there are no words that can describe how effing ugly and disgusting you are. If you don't remind, God hates fags, that means you're going to hell, you ugly bitch. Wow, like that is so, like you don't even deserve a response from me because that is just so ugly. Like that is just so fucking ugly, like you're disgusting for leaving that comment. But guys, if you ever get comments like this, just know that these are people who just want to see you like down and want to see you lose and their comments really don't mean anything but like comments like this like don't never let these affect you like why his face look fat or like a prosthetic my face is kind of fat when i was younger i've always had big cheeks like i've always had fat cheeks and my mother used to call them clouds and then like my skin is really stretchy too so it's like i don't know in a couple years, I'll probably need a facelift, like in 10, 20 years, because all this is probably going to fucking drop. But I don't know why I got fat cheeks. Why you got a fat ass stomach? Why you shaped like a laundry bag? Why does his voice bother me so much? Just him bothers me. You see, that's what people say about people who have charisma. Our voice and our presence is just annoying because it's like, why are you you? Like, and it's because, bitch, I me, honey, don't nervous, I ski, or on a wolf, I read, fuck, see. Nah, really though, it's really like, society wants you to be like everybody else. And like, if you're not, you're annoying. Like, and it's just like, I don't know what to tell you. So yeah, y'all, let me go. Let me get out of these comments before I really, like, get in my real bag. Like, it was cute or whatever. I got in my bag for a while. I really didn't, like, get myself mad, so I'm, like, happy. I'm proud of myself. I didn't get myself mad. I just took it with a grain of salt and keep it pushing. And I hope you guys do the same because anybody who leaves hate comments under somebody else's, like, post or, like, Instagram or online and stuff like that, really, like, it's just... They just mad with themselves, so of course they're gonna be mad at you. Like, they just don't like themselves. It's okay to kiki with your friends, like, send your friends a screenshot through private message, or like, you text your friend something, or you DM your friend something, and y'all laugh about something about somebody. That's okay, because at the end of the day, it's human nature to, like, really, like, 
not judge people, but like, you know, just have fun and throw y'all a little shade. But to really go out your way to comment under a person's post on their page so they can see it and you can try to make them feel bad about themselves shows you have like nothing else to do. Like you're bored. You're bored. You have nothing else to do and you have to like try to make another person feel bad about themselves. Like when they don't really give a fuck and you shouldn't either. So it's like, bitch, get a life and get off my page. If you think I'm this and I'm that and I look like this and I look like that and I'm too this and I'm too that, why are you letting me know bitch get a fucking life i do not care but let me go before i get in my bag and i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys thought in the comments and please do not leave no hate comments <laughs> okay this is a positive video and i will see you guys on my channel again thanks for watching bye